react to your, you, the audience's uh, strong feelings about the bailout. Uh, Verg Bonero, do we have uh, the mayor? Oh, here he is. Okay, the mayor of Lansing, Michigan. I've become a real fan of this guy in the last couple of days. Uh, it's a city that would be devastated if the big three went, uh, went under. Uh, a mayor, uh, uh, you, you want to talk to the fact that so many people are against this bailout if they're not directly involved with the car companies? Well, uh, Geraldo, thank you. Uh, prior to this, I'd heard that the figure was maybe 60% of Americans that were against it, and I thought that was pretty good. I wondered if you'd asked how many were forgiving AIG $150 billion with no strings that attached. That would have been 95% against it. There you go. There you go. I think a lot of people understand that these are working people. These are hardworking Americans all across this country, uh, that it's over 3 million people in the auto industry with the spinoff. The reverberating effect of losing this industry would be devastating. It could take us from a recession to a depression very quickly. I've been accused of fear-mongering for that, but I think it's fact-mongering. This is an industry, as you know, Geraldo, that helped really build the middle class. This is an industry that lifted a lot of people out of poverty. The big three, along with the UAW, helped provide benefits, good jobs. Uh, I, in the interest of full disclosure, my dad, of course, worked at GM, provided great uh, uh, benefits to all of us. I, I was able to have straight teeth because but of the But we know benefits. what they did right years ago, uh, Mayor, but didn't they do a, screw up a lot of things in the meantime and making cars nobody wanted to buy? Uh, you know, while uh, people say that, you know, but, saddling but they, themselves with labor costs that were way too high? Well, of course, when you say labor costs... Um, I don't they mean were, salaries. I'm talking labor costs, including pensions and well, right, entitlements. Right. Again, that's all part of building the middle class. Uh, you know, they, they did a great social good. You know, I was in Korea at our sister city, and I, they have a Hyundai plant there, and uh, it looks a lot like our plants here, and the workers, uh, you know, are not unlike our workers. They didn't seem to be any more productive. We have some of the most productive workers in the world. You know, what strikes me, Geraldo, is that in China, somebody said in China recently, we were able to compete in the Olympics, and when the, when the the rules were even when, the, when there was a level playing field when the starting point and the finish point was the same we came back with a lot of medals and I'll tell you something we're making better cars today than ever before but for some reason uh, we have this uneven uneven playing field okay, you know? well, all right mayor uh, you know I, I wish your city the best let me get a Republican congressman Thaddeus McCotter uh, also joins me uh, that's uh, California's uh, uh, Maxine Waters uh, uh, oh the congressman is only on the phone we've had the satellite problems here uh, but con congresswoman Waters uh, 15 billion is this going to happen on Monday Yes, I'm sure that uh, we're going to work something out. Um, as you know, uh, $25 billion had already been allocated uh, for fuel efficiency, uh, R&D, and some other kinds of things. And uh, so this really won't be an additional appropriation. They'll get the money. They, they will get the money. And, and uh, Congressman Cotter, yes. McCotter, is that a good thing? Congressman McCotter, can you hear me? Yes. Is that a good thing that the $15 billion is going to go through on Monday, apparently? It's a very good thing for America, for our economy, and it's important for people to remember that this is not a new appropriation. We are using an existing appropriation targeted to the auto industry to relieve a cafe mandate that was unfortunately imposed upon a restructuring industry. Well, listen, uh, I, I just, uh, you know, I bought a, a Ford Escape in Puerto Rico on Thursday, 17 grand, a great price, a uh, good car, drives well. Uh, you know, I had never sold my GM stock. I bought it at 50. It's now four. I didn't sell it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I just hope, uh, hope you get things together and don't uh, Geraldo, like the Saturday Night Live bit come back every two, three weeks for another 15 Geraldo, billion. Geraldo, thank yeah, you man. so much. Uh, you know, in, we used to say what's good for GM is good for America. And I can assure you, in Korea, they still say what's good for Hyundai is good for Korea. Okay. So uh, I'm sure this investment is going to pay off, just like the Chrysler investment 30 years ago paid off. Okay, it buddy. will pay huge dividends for America. I, I got to go. We've, uh, our timing is all out of whack because of our video problems. Do we 